Good morning. Good morning. There we go. I want to welcome you all to the official reveal of the final project related to our National Grid Urban Corridor Grant. I would like to offer thanks to our elected officials with us this morning, Uticus Mayor Robert Palmieri, Thank you. Assemblyman Anthony Brindisi, who's having a busy week with good stuff, yeah. <laughs> and our Meta County Legislator Roseanne Convertino, who is in the crowd somewhere. There she is over there. I'd also like to thank the Board of Directors of the Bag Square Association. Raise your hand, board member veteran. There we go. Thank them for their continuing support of all things neighborhood related, and to, of course to our local media for their continued support and coverage. How's that, Buck? <laughs> <laughs> we need to express a particular thanks to a few people individually, uh, Diane Shoemaker and Caroline Williams of Rust to Green Utica for their efforts and talents with developing the grant application and overseeing its implementation for the benefit of our neighborhood. And specifically today to all the contributors to the mural that you will soon see, including Michelle Truitt, who shouldered the tasks of mining and organizing the information, along with Oneida County Historian Joseph Botini and Executive Director of the Oneida County Historical Society, Brian Howard, and all other contributors who have been part of the journey that created this mural. I'd like to invite our Mayor Paul Palmieri to say a few words and to thank him for his focus and effort to strengthen all of Utica's neighborhoods, including our own Bag Square. Could I use your, uh, I want to read up, whatever you have there. I didn't get your notes. Okay. I, everyone knows me, I don't have any notes. Uh, it's been a great, great week for the uh, Utica area. Uh, yesterday, the unveiling of, of Nano, uh, which is transpiring on Bag Square. Uh, and this is just another partnership that we've had that we're bringing the city to the, to the foundation of where it's always been. In, in going in a little bit quicker than we thought. And the optimism is outstanding and it's because of the partnership. It's because of Michelle Trude, because of National Grid. It's because of everyone that's invested into this great city and where we're going. So when we unveil this, uh, it, it's just like the, the tip of the iceberg where we're going, but you can't do that without partnership and collaboration. And I think what you've seen in, for the first time in a long time is everyone have smiles on their face they're happy about what's happening in our great city. There's, there's optimisms that, that I don't think we've seen before. It's because we're all working together. And you know what? It's a small part of being here today, but it's a larger part of the component that I look out there and all the people that are a part of not only what the mural stands for, but what the city stands for. So I, I thank you so much for everything that's going on. Michelle, National Grid, our assemblyman, our county executive, all the elected officials, Beth, back square again, um, I think it was almost like a Boilermaker moment uh, where that has come, the, the belief in the back square area and what people think about it at this point. And it's real at this point. You see that it's bustling over there. Uh, it's a part of the historic part of the city that uh, was maybe forgotten for a long period of time, but now it's the, the young part of the old part of our city. So to all of you, thank you so much. God bless. And now viewers from Assemblyman Berdizi. Thank you very much. I, I have a request from Paul Buckley. The first, the next grant we're going to get for the city is a new PA system because this <laughs> thing is very sad. So we're going to do that next. Yes, thank you. Uh, it's great to be here in, in Utica's oldest neighborhood. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Beth. Back Square Association. Thank you, National Grid. This is a great investment in our urban core, uh, and we have such a rich history here in, in Utica and Oneida County. And, uh, the mayor talked about the partnerships. He's doing a great job on the city level. We're trying to do what we can at the state level to try and bring some investment back to our area. And we're, we're, we're having some success. But it's really because of all the people here who are taking chances and opening businesses and trying to revitalize our downtown that this city's becoming great again. So thank you for all the work that you're doing. Uh, we stand here as partners to you and, and look forward to moving forward. And I think Utica really has its, its best days ahead of us. We've had a proud history, it's, as, as it's going to be demonstrated very shortly. But I think our future is even richer. So. Uh, thank you all for being here today. Thank you, Bag Square Association, for making this happen. Okay, now for the thing everybody came here to see. I would now ask for your attention to the wall behind us. What you are about to see is the 76-foot-long, 42-inch-high representation of the history of the area where we now stand. 
It is the end result of contributions from local historians, authors, the Oneida County Historical Society, and longtime business owners and residents with family history in the neighborhood. It has been a four-month project that features over 225 years of history and over 100 people, places, and events that shaped Bag Square. This mural replaces one done by Christine Shaheen and area children as part of Utica Monday Nights approximately 13 years ago. Its overall design and coordination was done by Michelle Truitt, with site cleanup and preparation done by Vinnie Fici and crew, Joe Botini, Notre Dame High School students, painters from the Oneida Square Public Art and Design, and Scott Truitt. I would now like you all, um, I would now like to invite all of you to join us on this side of the railing, up against the wall, to help us un help us reveal the mural. Just the contributors to the mural. What's that? The contributors. The, the contributors. Spread out there. Ready? Get up and grab some paper. <laughs> Come on, we got 76 pe people here. <laughs> All right, on the count of three, Joe, I know you're impatient. You also pay attention. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Revealing secrets here, guys. As stated before, none of the improvements we have seen take place throughout Bag Square over the past two years would have been possible without the support of National Grid and the cooperative efforts of our partners in economic development. This $250,000 grant was awarded to the Bag Square Association in April of 2014 and has been matched by over $1.2 million in improvements and in-kind contributions within the district including Oneida County for exterior parking and improvements at Union Station and the Auditorium, the City of Utica for streetscape improvements, the Community Foundation of Herkimer and Oneida Counties, and the Elfin Society of Utica for improvements at the Bag Square, Bags Commemorative Park, sorry Joe, <laughs> and the Cornell University Rust to Green Landscape Architecture Capstone Project and 484 Design for planning activities. This grant also supported lighting and electrical upgrades, streetscape improvements and amenities, mural installations and planning implementations in Bag Square. This funding allowed the Bag Square Association to complete nearly 30 individual projects throughout the corridor that collectively contributed to the enhancement of the entire neighborhood. Additionally, many of the streetscape amenities were designed and built by local artists, manufacturers, and social enterprises supporting our local economy. Today we unveiled hundreds of hours of work and dedication from, thank you, from the Utica community that honors the years of history-making people and places that made Utica the great city it is today. The Bag Square Association is proud to have been a catalyst for raising our visibility in Utica and the region. We are also here today to formally accept the support of National Grid. When Rusta Green called National Grid to come to a meeting at Bag Commemorative Park a few years ago, to see if they could help provide electrical upgrades. Who would have thought all of this would transpire? Only one person had the vision to expand our project to this level. I am pleased to introduce that person, our economic development visionary, Brian Anderson from National Grid. No pressure, no pressure. 
You're welcome. Good morning, everybody. I want to thank uh, everybody for showing up today on this beautiful day. Um, thank Mayor Palmieri, Assemblyman Brandisi, and all of the economic development uh, partners that we have here in the Mohawk Valley. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, specifically Diane Shoemaker, Caroline Williams, Michelle Tewitt, and Beth Irons for the work on this project and working with me. Round of applause, please. You can only, National Grid can only do projects like this when we have great partners. And that's what we have here in Utica and the Mohawk Valley. Uh, as evidenced by this project, as evidenced by other projects like Coney Esposito's building, the redevelopment of Con Med building, Chris Talbot's building, National Grid has been making investments in the Bag Square area. Maybe you didn't know it, but we have. And this is just another, another way for us to move this area ahead and on the great path that it's going towards. Um, you know, you're probably wondering why does National Grid do these types of grants? It's to create placemaking. It's, it's able to create places where people want to live, where people want to be. And as you can tell, people want to be here. So uh, it's just another investment, hopefully uh, many more to come. We, we, we like <laughs> many we more to come. <laughs> so uh, once again, thank you very much for everybody.